with their family and I haven't done it before. And uh, this is the first thing that I want to mention. First of all, that you should make sure that the 10 pieces are as small as possible, as dry as possible. And um, so that's a good, a good thing to start with. Um, the second thing is, um, first of all, they have to be small, but make them as small as possible. <laughs> and it could be very tiny. Another thing that I want to mention is, please roll them up and uh, because you're going to put them all around the house and you, they have to be wrapped. So choose uh, toilet paper. This year, I know toilet paper is expensive maybe, but choose toilet paper and I'll tell you why later. So you wrap them in a little piece of toilet paper and as little as possible in a piece of toilet paper, use paper tape. The paper tape you could use is blue tape, blue masking tape for painters, anything that um, masking tape is good. Um, it's paper and it can also burn, not like plastic. Um, so that's one thing that to be prepared in order to have the easiest uh, um, manner of burning possible. The second thing is once you have these 10 pieces and you collected them and you collected them in a paper bag, hopefully, um, you will want to get rid of them. So. How do you burn them? If you have an outdoor place where you can burn them, that's fine. If you have a barbecue outside on your balcony, that's also good, but maybe you don't want to spend the time starting up with a fire and making a barbecue and then not knowing what to do with the barbecue, if nothing really got fully burned. Um, uh, this, the third option you have is to take a little can of tomato sauce, any kind of can that you have and put, um, put your pieces uh, wrapped up in the paper in the can. Uh, the can should be either on cement or tile or something that's not going to be damaged or burned. You put them in and then you um, you use a barbecue match, a long match, don't burn yourself. Be very careful, always handle things with gloves, or protective gloves or mittens and um, put them um, and then burn it. And that's that's all you do. Now, if they're very small and they're wrapped up loosely with a little piece of toilet paper, it should really burn really fast. Um, you might want to add a little bit of liquid fluid on it, but I don't advise it. It just smells terrible, um, but you could do that. Um, another thing that you could do is um, instead of burning them, you could um, uh, leave them in that can wherever you collected them in the can and uh, put Clorox on it. And um, anything that is full of Clorox is uneatable and becomes bacterial. So that's another option you have. Another option you have is since they're wrapped in toilet paper and they're very, very, very small, you could dump them in the toilet and flush them one by one and make sure that you're not plucking up your toilet because of all this, um, um, you know, paper or whatever and um, that should take care of it and that's an advice that is good um, if even if uh, pesa falls on a, on a Saturday night that's also a good way to get rid of the comments on pesa for 10 pieces thank you very much I hope this was helpful look for more um, um, Pesach um, alone at home and um, you're going to be successful and going to have a very good yom thank you Bye. If you have any questions, you can always call.